Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Living Shadow to Row. How bees you? Assassins. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing swell out there. I really, really do. Oh my goodness. So, assassination. Whew. If you do not know, if you are new to this channel, like, comment, and subscribe. Leave the comment. I want to say hi. For real. Um... We are assassins on this channel, which means we don't really deal with hope. We don't take no shit from nobody. Okay, I just want that to be known. You see, I'm with the sage stick out of us everywhere. Everywhere, 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 everywhere. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be the 1010 portal reading. So, if you guys are unaware, there is a portal that happens um, every month. Um, usually, the Number of the month and the day of the month line up. So, like, we're doing the 10 10 one for October 10th. There was the 9 9 one for October 9th. Everybody knew about that Lions Gate for the 8 8 portal. Okay, we're gonna do the 10 10 one right now. Oh, King of Swords. There's some knowledge being um, put forth in this. Ooh, I like this. Knowledge for the 10 10 portal. What do we have here? What do we have here? Also, guys, if you do click the link in the description box below, um, I have merch, I have different spiritual items that might help you out, crystals, candles, cleansing, <laughs> okay? Get your chaotic cleanse, get your sage stick, all of those things. We have four of cups, five of cups, hierophant, seven of swords, page of swords. So, ooh. Yeah. I'm looking at these two right here. So we got King of Swords and Four of Cups. So someone... Okay, so there's like an intelligence thing, but we're letting go of something. It feels like something, someone may be bored. It doesn't seem bored, though. Yeah, and then we got Clipsy sneaking into the corner. Say hi to my cat Eclipse, y'all. This is my cat Eclipse. She's a sweetheart. Yeah, I'm recording, honey. Can you see me struggle to press that button like forever ago? <laughs> you see, I was <laughs> trying to struggle to hit that button for a minute. Okay, so... Does someone regret a lesson that they did? I think they regret, like, a lesson or being stubborn in something with this Hierophant. Yeah, it's like being, or like deceptively watching. It could be uh, with the Seven Swords and Page of Swords. Maybe someone was, like, watching somebody. Look. I, I, if I had a if I had a dollar for every single time I heard somebody was watching somebody in the last year, my God, I would be so fucking rich. Like, <laughs> like for real. Every time I turn around, somebody is watching somebody. So what's the story? What's going on here? Please tell me, spirit. Tell me what is going on. What is going on? What is going on? Please tell me what's going on. What is this? This 1010 portal. October 10th, y'all. The 1010 portal. What is this going on here? Okay, so we got two of swords. Something someone doesn't see coming. Seven of cups, the moon, three of cups, eight of pentacles. There may be some different work options being illuminated. Some things somebody may need to work on as well. Like. Could be magic as well to get somebody confused. What do we have here? Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Strength in the Chariot. Yeah. Okay, so. 
With this two of swords, right? This lately has been like, I don't want to say it's like the gatekeeper. I know y'all don't even see these. I'm moving up here. I'm moving them for my own benefit, but like. Okay, so. <laughs> Eclipse, you are watching so hard. Y'all can't even see her in the camera no more, but she's just in here watching the cards, like ready to go. Um, so we got Chariot, the uh, Strength card. What is this? What was it? Ten of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles. Okay. So it's like. Moving on with money? Yeah, someone is like bossing up and moving on with money. Maybe they were like, maybe I feel like someone's like demanding their fair share with the Six of Pentacles. Maybe someone thought they was going to be left out in the cold, but they're like demanding their fair share. Maybe that's okay. So that's what must be what this Four of Cups is. They feel like if they get refused or something. Right, that's what they would regret if they getting refused. Okay, so it's starting to make a little bit more sense now. So someone for this ten ten portal, right? People are using logic, but they're afraid that the logic is going to backfire on them, or it's not going to teach. It's not going to get them the lesson that they learn. And I feel like it, they're using logic with this King of Swords. You, you, like, people are using logic, right? And I'm not saying the logic is bad because we all need logic. Okay, we all need, like, some understanding about things. But it's, like, this Seven of Swords and this Page of Swords. Oh, I feel like in this, somebody thinks that their logic is going to backfire on them. Or, yeah... Someone thinks that their logic is going to backfire on them. They're not, or they're not, and they're not going to either learn the lesson, or they're not going to get to some higher level of co of commitment or some higher level of being on Earth because they're deceptively watching. Like I feel like someone is like watching in a very deceptive way. We got this two of swords here, which is like what uh, what someone can't see, right? So someone can't see that someone's like really trying to fight to get their fair share of money on this side. And on this side, we got seven of cups, the moon, the three of cups, and the eight of pentacles. And it's like someone's causing a lot of confusion at work. And it feels like it could be a lot of emotional confusion as well. Or someone is confused as to how to work with their emotions. In like a, in like a different kind of way, like... I feel like someone wants to learn how to... Maybe that's why someone's been deceptively watching. Oh, then we got the moon trying uh, Neptune. So, it's like someone's trying to learn how to work with their emotions in a different way. But they're deceptively watching somebody. Okay, so maybe like someone's trying to learn something from somebody by watching them in secret or something. What do we have? What is this? Can I get some more clarity around this, please? Thank you. Who at the bottom of the deck? King of Wands popping out. Confidence. 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 Confidence is key. Literally in this. I feel like confidence is key. Um, so for this 10th, um, it, it's hard to describe. So if you all know like the number of signs, I don't even want to say that. Because it's like calendars. There's so many different things that are like... Over time, everything is like meshed, right? But this 10-10 portal. 10 is about burdens. 10s, 10s are about um, completion. 10s are about like something being like... Like a ceiling buster, in a sense. Or like renewals. Or doubling up. It, 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 it's, it's that type of energy. So it's like... Someone's going to be broken of something. But I feel like, I don't know if it's like the obsessive. Because I'm not sure if this is obsessive watching. I feel like this could be obsessive watching. This could be like some sort of anxiety thing. Queen of Pentacles. Could be a Queen of Pentacles. I've been getting Queen of Pentacles a lot. So whatever this Queen of Pentacles symbolizes in your life. Um, you could be leaving that behind. Whether that's a mother, a feminine energy, baby mama. Whether that is um, somebody who's stable who's trying to like take your money. Could it just be like a thief trying to take your money, you know, depending on what it is. 
for someone is is maybe you have the confidence to face them before with this king of wands this is t okay so i was going to get back to what i was going to say before the 10 10 portal i feel like the 10 10 portal is more about transformation than anything else right um, this is more about transformation. The 11 11 one is more is more about twin flames and the 12 12 one is, is like about completion and stuff, right? I, I have videos on those. If they're not on the YouTube, they are on the archive. So do check out one or the other, you know, they're there. Okay. Um, yeah, what is this? We have death here. Yep, transformation. I, I said that one. So something is happening. Transformative healing with the star. Mm -hmm. And it's been a long time coming with the seven of pentacles. So whatever this is, this is breaking off something that has been on for a minute. And, and we got my little, here's Clipsy again. It's breaking off something that's been there for a minute. Oh, well, I shouldn't say just for a minute. It's been there for a while, but like, yeah. This is healing something that's been there for a while. Connecting with something that's been there for a while. I just want to point out this is a death card and a star card. These are both two fixed signs. And the Hierophant, which is also a fixed sign, came out earlier. This is a lot of energy that doesn't normally change. I feel like you, this is like a deeper transformation here. But I feel like it's an emotional transformation. Maybe that's why I keep saying I feel like. Because 8 of... Oh, excuse me. Oh, my goodness. What is this? Mercury retrograde. What is this? What is life? Um, The moon and the seven of cups. I, feel, I don't think it's emotional confusion. I really don't. I just... I don't, feel like, I, feel, I don't feel like you are confused about how you feel. Or people are not going to be confused about how they feel. Maybe confused about how to express it. How to show it. Or how to work on it so that they feel a little bit better or different. But I don't feel like people just don't know altogether. It's like, I don't know how to feel. I don't feel I'm not getting that energy. It is a lot of healing. Like a long healing. Yeah, Ace of Cups. This could be like um, tipping the scales. Like tipping love. Like the cup of love over. And more people are going to start seeing... More of what true love is. We got this temperance that just flew out here, okay? This could be seeing what more what true love is. Or more alchemy. Like, seeing how life could be if we did better. And I know that sounds really kind of kind of crazy. But it's one of those things where... Especially with this Four of Cups. I'm getting with this... Four, like... How do I put this story? People have used, with this King of Swords and this Four of Cups, people have used logic and reason to stay stuck for a very long time. And I'm not saying that, again, I'm not saying that logic is wrong, but they're using logic in the, in the wrong way. They're using logic of, well, it's, it, you know, if, it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type thing, right? But they've taken it to the next level of, if it's currently working, don't improve it. And we're we're on this improvement train. And, I, and, and that's the best way I can say it. Like this temperance card, right? Alchemizing. Do, using alchemy. We, we, we're on this improvement train here. Especially if you're on this channel. Hi, assassins. How you doing? Yeah, queen of swords. We cut out, uh, you know, old thought patterns. Um, so the way I... The way I um, and playing this for this is that this King of Swords, you have the King and Queen of Swords, right? Masculine and feminine energies. And they do work well together for lots of things. But what, uh, what I tend to find, or what I think a lot of, you may tend to find as well, you know, tell me if you don't, tell me if you do. Leave it in the comments. I want to see what's going on with the comments, what's going on in the life of, lives and times of the people. Um... King of Swords is more of a masculine thinking energy. And a masculine thinking energy is more along the lines of... If it works, it works. Just don't touch it. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how to put this the right way. 
But it's like, okay, I did this thing this one time. I, I just keep doing this this way this one time. Logically, I know it's going to work out for me. But then there's not improvement in that. Queen of Swords cuts out things intelligently. Like, the more feminine version of, 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 of this intellectual uh, energy is more like, okay, so this is good. How, like, how do we streamline? Like, how do we... You know, if, if it took you five minutes to do this, what what's it going to... How can we improve it to take four minutes type thing, right? And I feel like this is like you, things get cut out so that you can do things more efficiently. And I feel like that's what this is. This this is this is going to be a, a burden coming out. A lot of people are going to learn how to do things more efficiently and they're going to learn how to heal some of the dead parts within them. With the star on this death card, I really am getting. They're gonna learn how to, to heal some of the dead parts within them. And this hierophant, look, we oh, it, even the strength card. We got all four fixed signs out here. I just now realized the strength card. Yeah, we got um, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Of course, there was a Cancer out there too with that uh, chariot and um. This could be a lot of cancer energy, too, with the cherry and the moon. Um, I don't know. So, we just had a new moon in Libra. So, I don't know if you're, um, if you guys follow moon energy or not, but, you know, it is still Libra season. We have the moon. You know, we always have the moon during that time. Um, so, a lot of balance, a lot of things like that. This could be... It, it, and cancers are usually the sign that are at least emotionally balanced. This could be a lot of emotional balance for people as well, as long with expression like balance. I do see people like leaving some. I do see people like. I don't want to even say quitting their jobs. I don't feel like they're quitting their jobs, but I feel like they are um, making their areas more harmonious to them or better suited for them in a certain type of way. Like, you may see people, if you're at an office or something, you may see people, like, spruce up their desk or something. Three of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going forward with some offers or with some stability. When is this Page of Pentacles? A little bit, for, a little bit more. I feel like, yeah, it's like they're making themselves more stable wherever they're at. It's like... You know what this is like? This is like cuffing season, right? So people, like, you know, like, it get, okay, so, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the best way to explain it. Cuffing season. So if you are in, like, a climate, like, me personally, I'm from Michigan. So if, when it gets cold or it gets wintry time or when it gets to these, like, autumn, fall months, it's a time where you instinctively, like, want to be with somebody. It's like, you know, the animalistic part of you is, like, gather for body heat type things. So, like, you naturally kind of want to be around people or this is that. And, you know, just the holiday season. We sit around, eat, get fat, blah, 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 stock up, wait for winter, blah, 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 blah all those things, right? This is like you go this is like going forward with a stability with a with the page of pentacles. You may not want to be around people. I feel like you mm, this is like give me something for this. Please and thank you. Give me something for this. Nine of Swords. Yeah. Not wanting to be stuck. Depressed. So I feel like you want to like. If this is like that. This, this is like that time. I feel like you want to. Stand on your own. I don't, but like not in a, you don't want to be with somebody way, but I feel like it's like standing on your own, like, you don't want to deal with the fake bullshitty people, you know, you don't want to deal with somebody that's going to make you depressed or something that's going to make you depressed or something that's going to pull you down. I, that maybe with this King of Swords and Four of Cups is as well, like, 
I, I definitely feel like someone doesn't want to deal with something that may pull them down and they're afraid of being rejected because they use logic so much. Okay. This hair font could be a marriage as well. Like some may be um, afraid someone won't uh, say yes if they ask them to marry them or something like that. Like I'm kind of getting that vibe here too. So I don't know how that's going to come out for you, but there's a lot of stuff in this portal now. There's a lot of endings. We, we need the endings. Okay. I know people are afraid of endings. What is this? The tower? Okay, let me go. I think the tower just came out. So before I pull the card, because I want to feel like all extra special or something. But like, um, oh god, let's say something about the tower. Like it breaks up something. It, the endings are not bad. Okay, endings bring new beginnings type thing. We already had the death card out here. So we know something is changing. Something is transforming. Bitch, it was the tower. <laughs> Tell me I know it. I know, I know, I knew, I knew, I knew these songs, but I knew. I probably look really, really weird. I don't even care. The tower. So, yeah. It's, this is the ending to a lot of things. This is like an abrupt ending. So after this portal, you may see some abrupt endings to things. Yeah. Now, mind you, I want to. I want y'all all to keep aware. This is um for October tenth, twenty twenty one. Well, not really. It's for that portal, the ten ten portal. Um, that happens on that date. Um, the energies can linger after that a long ways. A lot of people from the Lionsgate portal that was two months ago are starting to come. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, whatever you're trying to think about, whatever is pushing you in this direction, you may not see the after, the full after effects to what you're... If you manifest during the portal, things like that, to uh, burdens, endings, things like that, you may not see the full ending of it until the end of the year. But get, uh, Excuse me. And again, I do want to remind everybody that we are in 2021 at the time of this recording. So, oh, oh, oh my gosh, if I can stop hiccuping, that would be great, or burping, or whatever this is. Um, retrograde summer. I had a podcast talking about that. If you do want to click the link in the description box below, you can go subscribe to the podcast, the shadow cast on every single podcast player and on YouTube. I have a video version as well. Click the link, click the link in the description box below. Um, for ending of retrograde summer. Now, if basically in the beginning of 2022, I think like halfway through January, everything's going to go spin back. Every, almost everything is in retrograde right now. Pluto just went back direct. This is another reason why its transformation is probably going to be pretty big. Um, Venus and Mars are still direct. Everything else is in retrograde. So, it's like, even though you may even, like, it's one of those things where, like, you may forget what you were breaking off during this portal and then the starting next year whatever is is gone and you don't even realize so it's like be thankful now kind of energy a little bit yeah this page of ones came out get some news you're gonna get news about different things be thankful about it just a little bit just for now we're gonna get some shadow oracle and that will be done what's hidden in the shadows for this 10 10 portal Mm. Hate, believe. Ooh. Don't believe the haters. Okay, but believe there is hate out there. Someone could be hating on you. Someone could be hate watching. Maybe that's what this is. I said someone could be watching in deceptive ways. They could be hate watching. With this page of swords and seven of swords. Someone could be against you and just be watching you. Like... <laughs> Like, how you gonna hate on me, but you watch me? <laughs> Don't sound. Mm -hmm. I said, who does that? And look, and that card just flipped. Oh my gosh. The child. Okay. A child. Someone it was a child, or someone who may be childish a little bit doing that. Oh, what's in the shadows for this 1010 portal? 
what is hidden in the shadows. Yep, so I said something maybe childish. Aries energy and fight. So you could be fighting um like somebody very childish. You could be fighting your own inner child a little bit. Yeah. That could be coming up here. Maybe you won't be fighting your inner child too much longer. Like, you know, you should be integrating and accepting or loving or What is this for this 1010 portal? The 1010 portal. I'm trying to not stare at the cards so much. And I say this so much. Actions, yeah. Hot actions are going to be highlighted. You're going to be seeing actions. Like I said, a lot of fixed sign energy is being broken up here. So be prepared to see people do things that they have not done before. Or you're not used to them doing. Because it's it's changing them it is you know what i'm saying we're going through a different time we're going through an evolutionary period at this point with all this all this shit going on we're going through like an evolutionary period so people are not going to act the way they were acting you know before like if somebody was like ooh, sagittarius energy i don't want to say like Like I don't want to say Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde thing. It could be a little bit. It could come. It could feel like that a little bit. But mostly what I'm getting is that more people are going to be very. Um, if you know Sag, Sag or Sagittarius, Sagittarius is more of like a very like direct, very blunt, very out there, very outspoken, very extroverted. You know. I mean, they do have an introverted side. Don't get me wrong. They are on the. They are on the. Polarity with Gemini. So there are like different sides to uh, 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 Sagittarius. But like. I'm getting that type of energy. Maybe that's what this is going to be. You know, uh, I know that isn't until the end of November, beginning of December. But again, that is when a lot of the stuff is going to be popping off. It's in probably in, you know, um, near the end of that season. Ooh, house flew out. Could be something with a house. Maybe someone could be getting a house. Someone could be, you know, if you're manifesting. If you're manifesting for things like that, go for it. Do it now. Yeah, we got ring, happy, roses, flowers, baby mama, baby daddy. So there we go. Someone could be proposing to the baby mama, baby daddy. Someone could be, you know, moving, getting a house, moving in. Someone's life could just be upgrading all the way around. See, we can make change for good. I like this. What is this now? Um, oh, big stat. We got health, cheater, uh, fortune, health, cheater, consult, polyamory, intimacy, witch, wizard, and dreams. A lot of stuff coming out. Okay. Ooh. Fortune, health, cheater. You feel like maybe someone feels like they're cheating. Something cheating health or cheating fortune, cheating luck here. Consult about the polyamory intimacy, which wizard dreams. So you may need to consult somebody about something. Um, could be something you're doing sexually in your dreams. You could be having sex dreams. Relax and release. If you are having sex dreams, just be careful. Yeah, and we got marriage and commitment. So someone could be getting married here. I did say ring. Okay. If you're wondering, they might, they probably will say yes. Uh, so if you are wondering, they probably will say yes. If if whoever is asking whomever, I, I did see someone was like watching in a deceptive way. It's like, they they might say yes. They probably will say yes. So, but it's, uh, mm. Like I, I, I don't want to say I don't want to tell you how to approach it. You approach it whatever way you feel is best. If y'all getting married, y'all know each other. But like, do be mindful. This is like a portal thing. Like maybe I don't know. Maybe you could be like getting engaged during the portal or something. I don't know. We have an apology and sick, and someone is sick and they want to apologize. So there's that as well. Anything else for this portal? Anything else for this portal? We have gender. Maybe some gender issues here. Not in a... 
in, in like identity form or maybe someone is like confused about gender or maybe some uh, conversations about gender are going to pop back up again as well like um you know what does this mean what does that mean who who do you think got what i guess i you know like does it matter what's in between the legs i don't know but rich is down here so i like that for me <sighs> well i do want to thank you all for watching please like the video if you like the video. Leave a comment in the comment section. And subscribe, 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 subscribe. Here on Living Shadow Tarot. 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 Subscribe to Living Shadow Tarot. <laughs> I don't know how I got to say this. I don't know if I got to look directly into whatever to make this work. I don't know. Okay, I just wanted to have a successful time out here. Uh, successful life, huh? I'm going to pray for y'all. Hope we all make it through here. Beating up these burdens. Being blessed. Being assassins. Killing shit. Literally. <laughs> Killing shit. Okay. <sighs> Stay safe out there.